Welcome in Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Cross Watchers, welcome. Welcome to my channel, Wing Spiritual Clarity. My name is Wendy Wing. So, Scorpio, let's take a look at the energies this week. In the past, looks like you were coming out of a healing healing a broken heart three of swords in reverse coming out of heartbreak this this is a, a real ooh, getting warm warming up <laughs> all right jeez maybe i should have kept the hat on okay it's really got me angry, like heated. What happened in the past? Maybe you're still a little heated about it. Um, betrayal, heartbreak. I feel angry, furious. This wasn't the lasting love that you thought it was. You thought this was a happily ever after. It feels like you spent most of this connection trying to avoid the breakup, trying to, uh, uh, because the foundation of this connection feels like, as I'm perceiving this, uh, ignoring red flags, uh, um, and trying to fix I can fix this I can I can fix this I can I just keep getting I could fix this and you put so much of your time and energy into this person this connection and it doesn't feel like you got a lot of reciprocity you didn't get it and I can see why the anger and the resentment um uh, a lot of this resentment has been placed on the partner maybe if there's a third party you already know about it it's like them the anger the resentment but it's really you're you're mad at yourself or there's uh, an opportunity to really examine um, the ignoring of those red flags. It feels like you have done the work. And I'm not... Um, yeah, let's move on. The, uh, tough. Really tough. I don't think people realize what, what you've gone through in the past. This feels like a very internal struggle that you've you went through and there's a a feeling like nobody really understands how much you've you tried to make this work and how heartbreaking it was um feels like you might have been the only one really working on this connection wanting it to be something happily ever after so just want to validate that for someone out there all right scorpio in present energy we have the seven of cups lots of options it feels like there are it feels like you can go in any direction now and and it's almost like there are so many options of what you could do that it's not helpful something it's it's a time for healing you're coming out of a healing period of not working of taking a break because there's something about not working right now not like something's not working, but to be at rest. Excuse me. To listen. 
to observe, to be very present. If it, oh wow, <laughs> jeez. Spirit is saying, if you do not take a break, then you will be put into hangman position. So some of you who are trying to push something through, trying to make something happen right now, um, maybe from your uh, ego or kind of misdirected energy, I have to push through, then you will be um, put in that hanged man position. There's something you need to see. There's a, a need to be right where you are. So some of you might be experiencing illness to keep you down, to keep you if there's some break there it's important to take a break I don't know how to say it this any differently so if you are feeling guilty because you are have been like not taking uh, not going after something or no you're right where you need to be rest follow your intuition your intuition is saying take a pause there's something going on spiritually that you're needing to see. This is not a time to take action. Wow. All right. So Scorpio, what's hidden this week is Nine of Swords. This is those thoughts, like getting very carried away with being very uh, triggered fears coming up for some of you some of you it's like the boogeyman is coming up this is like panic like terror energy uh, I'm getting like a monster uh, whatever your monster is that is terrifying a personally terrifying it feels like Jesus seems so specific you grew up with people who who had access to a monster within very angry very very terrorizing very uh, wow and there's it's like you're meeting your inner monster what's beautiful about this is realizing that you've got control over that inner monster not annexing not saying you're bad for having an inner monster but you are very uh you could be very dangerous this reminds me of something that um jordan peterson said about um having a monster but you are in control of this, that energy. If you do not have that dangerous element, then you are I, I'm getting it's important to have access to all aspects of yourself. So it's not that you're going to use this monster aspect it's it's instead it's like under your control you could hurt others with this like others have unleashed their monster onto you but you are choosing to not project that monstrous energy onto others This is really beautiful. I know. Um, I know we're talking about monsters and fears. It's like fearing uh, your own power, fearing your own destructive power instead of owning it and taking control of it. 
the people maybe in your childhood, maybe throughout your life who have not had control over their dark monster energy and then they unleash it onto others and onto you. And I have a feeling it's not about not having access to that, but taming, controlling, um, using that energy for building what's coming next, the new world. Wow, what's interesting messages, Scorpio. All right, possible outcome this week, Scorpio, is nine of wands in reverse calming of your nervous system, letting your defenses down. You know, along this monster thing, it feels like once you realize how powerful you are and really own your shadow, not trying to hide it, not trying to, I, I'm all good, I'm all wonderful and, and happiness, like owning your subconscious, owning your unconscious, owning parts of yourself and being whole. It feels like you can let down your defenses because um, others are very overt with their power. Yours is it feels like you're switching to a very internal way you run your energy and you realize that you're much stronger than you ever believed you were. It looks like um, the crumbling of traditional structures and um, very well the, the crumbling of connections of maybe a marriage it, it's um, and letting go of a painful cycle there is this it feels like you're being prepared for something you're waiting to take action on something but first there's a, an energetic shift it's like you're letting go of very painful ways, um, very painful to you as a soul. That feels very specific. Things are coming apart. By the way, the heavy breathing is Chuck in the background. There's Chuck, my bulldog. Someone asked, what is all the snorting and heavy breathing in the background? Who is that? <laughs> That's my dog. <laughs> okay. Um, you might be feeling a lack of passion right now. And that is a part of that hanged man energy. Like, just, just wait a minute. Ding. I don't know if you could hear that. Chuck also um, is very gassy. Okay, there's also, there's something here, maybe someone from your past showing up. It feels like this, this is someone who has shown you their monster qualities. They've, they, feels like this is so late for them to come forward and talk about that three of swords in reverse, that heartbreak. And they're still juggling. They're still, they're trying to say whatever it is they need. They're in a desperate scenario. They're uh, grabbing at straws. They don't understand. Um, this person does not feel very conscious. And so they're still grasping at external issues. They don't know how to fill their own cup. And they treated you really poorly, consciously, purposely, uh, 
tried to leave you behind, tried to, um, it feels like it, it wasn't just a, a separation. It feels like they tried to um, trip you up consciously and purposely. They didn't want you to have a new beginning. Um, and yet now it feels like they're, they don't have any other options. They've um, really created a difficult scenario for themselves. And this is someone very masked and they'll say whatever it is to whoever because uh, they're in deep grief right now. Whatever this heartbreak that we started at the beginning where you were just recovering from something so freaking painful. You've done the work. They just tried to move on and, and not do any of the grieving and work. Now they're grieving and they want your help. But in the past, they did all they could to leave you stranded or hurt or both or just it's awful whatever the the details the personal details for you and so but now they want um you have free choice uh what you want to do and follow your intuition follow your own inner guidance you've got this so all right, Scorpio, thank you so much for um, sharing this time and space with me. I hope this was helpful. Take care. Bye.